How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're going to be rerouting a crankcase breather tube on an old Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine. With that being said, let's get right into it. So I just wanted to do a video documenting one of the little tips you can do to get these machines to work again properly if one of these older engines are experiencing the issue that my customer was here. So I'm currently working on this home light lawnmower. It has an aluminum deck and it has a Briggs & Stratton Quantum 5 horsepower engine. This is one of the L-head Briggs engines. And my customer said that no matter what he did, his spark plug would always foul. So he dropped it off and told me to just have a look at it and see what was going on. One of the first things I did was I pulled the air filter out and you guys can see that uh, this air filter completely soaked with oil. And we have to remember that if the air filter is not pulling through the proper amount of air, then your engine is going to be running rich because you're gonna be getting less air and the same amount of fuel. And if you have a bunch of oil on this paper filter, it will restrict the airflow, thus creating even more suction at the carburetor side, which will further increase your fuel compared to your air, which will then obviously further richen your air fuel mixture. So we have an excessively rich air fuel mixture, which then fouls the spark plugs. So he said, you know, what's causing this? And I'm just gonna take you through this very quickly. Basically what happens is these old school engines, they start to lose compression at the piston rings. So the seal of the piston inside of the cylinder is not as good. Now what that does is it allows some of the combustion to pass the piston rings and go into the lower crankcase of the engine. There's our crankcase breather tube. Now this rubber tube here goes to the back of the air box. I can show you that right here, it goes into that little plastic tube right there. Now you're gonna notice that there is clearly a bolt in that little plastic tube. We're gonna talk about that in a second. But basically what happens is with that added crankcase pressure, the more oil vapor you're going to get, thus you're going to be completely coating your air filters with oil. It's going to create a airflow restriction, which is going to create a rich fuel mixture, which is then going to foul your spark plugs. And just to show you guys a common engine that uh, has this excessive crankcase pressure venting a little bit extra oil vapor are going to be these old school Tecumseh HMSK-80 snowblower engines. So on these engines, they have the crankcase breather tube just coming out the side venting to the atmosphere which is what we're going to be doing to this uh, quantum five horsepower lawnmower. But obviously back in the 80s when these engines came out, you wouldn't have noticed a bunch of oil on the side of your engine. But as that engine gets older, the cylinder starts to wear down a bit, the piston rings start to wear, and you get increased blow-by. That is the technical term because a little bit of that combustion is going to blow by the piston rings and then increase your crankcase pressure, thus increasing the pressure at the crankcase breather tube up there. And then you could imagine that if this was hooked up to an air box with an air filter, you're going to get a little bit of extra engine oil vapor into that air box, thus clogging up your air filter. Now, the second thing you wanna do after removing the air filter and noticing that there's a bunch of oil in the air box is remove your dipstick and just verify what the oil level is in the engine that you're working on. Sometimes customers are going to overfill their engines with oil, and I'll show you a brief clip of what that's gonna look like in a bit. But one of the things you're looking for is just to make sure that it's not overfilled. But what we can see here is that the oil is a little low, obviously because it's been venting into the air box, but also it's a little darker in color and it could use an oil change. And before I show you a clip of that one lawnmower that I worked on that was overfilled, another thing you should do is go ahead and ask your customer a couple questions, primarily if they have recently scraped their deck or sharpened their blade, because a lot of times a customer will tip their mower to either side. Now on the five horsepower quantum lawnmower that we're working on, the carburetor was at the front and the muffler was at the back. Now this Craftsman 5 horsepower here has the same Briggs L head engine. However, you're going to notice that on this one, the muffler is on this side and the carburetor is over on this side. So 
if a customer were to tip this lawnmower to sharpen the blade or scrape the deck, you always wanna make sure that you're tipping the engine towards the muffler side or towards the back of the engine so that you're not going to be dumping the oil from the crankcase out into the carburetor and the airbox side. And that's one of the things that I see a lot is when a customer flips their mower up to the carburetor side and then they scrape their deck, sharpen their blade, they flip it back down. And then when they go ahead to start it up, they notice that the engine's smoking a lot. And sometimes enough oil will get in there to completely clog up the carburetor, which will then prevent the lawnmower from starting. And then they'll bring it to me for a carb clean. So in the case of the Quantum 5 horsepower Briggs engine that we're working on today, the engine was neither overfilled with oil or tipped it towards the front carburetor side, which leads me to believe that there's only one cause, which is going to be a little bit of extra blow by causing increased crankcase pressure, which will vent a little bit more oil vapor into the air box, similar to what I just showed you on that snow blower there. But just quickly going back to the oil on the air filter, if I ever see that, like I said, the first thing I do is check the oil level on that dipstick. I just had a mower that came in the other day where the oil was overfilled. And I'll put a picture up on screen to show you what the dipstick looked like. The oil was probably two to three times higher than what it should have been and the engine almost hydro locked because the person who owned it didn't really know what they were doing and then that lawnmower there that i worked on it ended up needing a carb clean an air filter replacement a spark plug and then you know i kind of did a full service sharpen the blade and whatnot however when i started it up because it was so overfilled with oil there was so much oil in the muffler now i'll show you a quick little video of how much it was smoking when i first fired it up second thought it might smoke a lot so you guys can see quite a bit of smoke coming out of that thing but it was just a bunch of oil in the muffler and once the engine got hot enough and all of that oil in the muffler burned off then it looked a little bit like this oh it's like brand new now brand new buddy it doesn't even smoke anymore now on this mower, I don't have to do that. So in today's video, I'm basically just gonna be showing you how to do that little crankcase vent tube delete, as they call it. And it's quite simple. All we're going to do is come down to the crankcase breather tube and we're simply going to rotate it downwards. Now, as my customer runs this engine, he is going to notice a little bit of oil here. So what I'll tell my customer is, hey, this is just gonna be a quick, simple little fix, spark plug, air filter, and then the crankcase breather tube delete, as they call it. And then he'll just have to come here and wipe down the top of the deck every now and then. But he won't have to worry about a paper air filter getting clogged up and restricted, and then having to replace a spark plug every time he wants to go ahead and start the machine to cut his grass. So obviously the first part is going to be to rotate that crankcase breather tube downwards, just like that. And then the second part is just going to be to plug that hole. I just used a bolt and threaded it in there because you have to understand that the air filter only filters the air from the outside, whereas this crankcase breather tube goes into that little port there, sorry for the focus, and then that goes up in behind this metal plate, which is behind the air filter, right? Because we have to remember that the air filter sits on top of this. So if you don't plug that hole, you could get dirt and debris going up into your carburetor opening, and then that could end up giving you a clogged up carburetor down the road. So just make sure you go ahead and plug it off with whatever. Like I said, I used a bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together, fire it up, make sure that uh, it runs. I'll go ahead and change the oil and this thing will be ready to go back to my customer. Now, I just wanted to note that this air filter backing plate has a primer bulb with a hole on it. So when you're priming these, you wanna put your finger over the hole and then this one presses air into the carburetor, which then pressurizes the bowl and then squirts fuel up the main jet and distribution tube, which is right in there, that little brass piece. So when you prime this thing, you should be able to hear fuel going in and we can see it as well as hear it. So that primer bulb system works. If you ever get one of these where you're pressing and you don't hear that little squirting sound or you can't see fuel coming up out of the main jet or the distribution tube, you most likely have to replace that gasket back there because it's just not making a good seal between the plastic air filter backing plate and the carburetor itself. And a lot of times, just as a little uh, tech tip, if you install a single gasket, it may leak 
because it's going to be thin. So one of the tricks is to take that gasket and soak it in water or gasoline before you install it and it will actually swell up a little bit as you saw the one on the carburetor was deformed right so it had that little indentation of the little primer line there and that's just because it has swelled up due to a little bit of fuel and it has thickened up a bit or if you you know don't have time to go ahead and swell one you can install two dry gaskets and it will normally work just as fine so i just wanted to point that out i'm going to install a new air filter pre-filter combo here so the engine will get the proper amount of air in and like i said i'm just going to do an oil change and this thing will be good to go all right so it might be tricky to see but i have the oil filled up just over the fill line but uh, no big deal because again some of that is going to vent out onto the top of his deck but that's the price he's going to have to pay to keep an old mower like this running and operational and he'll get you know probably a few more years out of this thing and uh, this repair bill was uh, very cheap you know oil filter spark plug and just a, a little crankcase breather tube delete as they call it so i'm going to bring this mower outside fire it up let it run for a bit let you guys hear how it sounds You know, again, my customer will have to occasionally wipe off the top of the deck. But like I said, he'll get another couple years out of this machine guaranteed. It's a small price to pay. And at least he won't be clogging up that air filter anymore. And you guys can hear that this thing runs just fine. So it's ready to be returned back to my customer. He'll be happy that this was a quick fix and a very inexpensive repair bill. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Like you guys saw, that engine runs good and my customer will not have to worry about that air filter clogging up with oil, becoming restricted, thus richening the fuel mixture and fouling his plugs ever again. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up, you know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel up for new content. And as always guys, Thanks for watching.